Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the CC3 to create an avatar and send to iClone 7. And in iClone 7, you are going to create a facial and talking animations and also up. Also will include the body animations and then export all the facial and talking animations and also the body animation together and import into the Blender. Blender is a 3D animation, 3D modeling software that you can use it to re-edit re the 3D models and also perform more 3D animation. So first, you need to have the character creator 3. Use your character creator 3 to design an avatar, a 3D avatar. And next, after you finish design your 3D avatar, click send to iClone. Send the character to iClone. Now you have to wait in Icron 7. Wait for a while until the avatar is, is loaded. Now this is a T pose. First as demo, I will create a body animation. I will click here. I will apply a random animation here, the dual gun loop. And let's have a check. Sorry. The dual gun either. Now once I, if, if I play it, you can see some body animation is already get applied. This is the either animation. Next, I'm going to create a facial animation. Now the whole face is completely Stationary, there's no, no facial expression here. So I will click here, the face key. Through the face key, I can click the expression and I can adjust. After two seconds, one second, two seconds, I will apply a happy animation here. Next, after two seconds, one second, two seconds, I pause it and I apply I apply an angry facial expression here. Next, finally after 2 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds, I apply a neutral I apply a neutral facial expression. Now, I click here to back to the frame 1 and I click play. You can see these are the facial animations that I created in Icron. Next, I'm going to create a talking animation. I have to click here, back to the frame 1, click create script. To, you, to apply the talking animation, you have to record your own voice. And of course, you can use the audio file that you already recorded. It can be an mp3 file, it can be an, a WAV file. But as demo, I will just use the TTS. I click here. The TTS, I will choose a female voice, the Microsoft Zira desktop, I will just click here, I key in, hello, one, two, three, testing complete. Alright, now I click OK, it will automatically apply the text to speech voice into this avatar. Now I try to play. Hello, one, two, three. Testing complete. So now this is the end of the animations. I will set the range just to here. Set the range. All right. Now it's my time to export export the avatar. So now I clear my desktop to make sure there's no other files. As demo, I will just export everything to the desktop as FBX file. Click here, File, Export, FBX. The target tool presets, choose Blender. And make sure you take these three, one, two, three, you take it, maximum texture size. As demo, I will choose 256. Low resolution of the texture. This is just a demo. If you really want to create a 3D animation, you have to choose as as top as possible. Next, I will select the range. 
I don't use the current frame, I use the range. Select the range that I already selected, that is from frame 1 to frame 471. FPS I choose, choose 30 is okay. Then the target tool preset, I choose Blender. Then I click export. As demo, I export on my desktop, so I click desktop. Here I choose CC3, girl 02. This is the file name, I click export, I click save. And wait for a while now, Icon is exporting the FBX 3D models. Now finish. You can see the FBX file is already on your desktop. Next, you can minimize the icon 7. Go to my this go to my video description, you scroll down, and you should be able to see download Blender for free. Download and install the Blender in your computer. Blender. See? I already installed. Next is download the CC3 Blender tool. Enter this website. Go to the video description to click here, download CC3 Blender tool. You enter this website, click the code here, click download the zip file. Once you download it, it is a zip file. You no need to extract it, you can just leave it as a zip file format. Next step, go to your Blender. In the Blender, the first step, you have to click here and then you select everything and press delete. You will delete the camera, delete the cube and also delete the light. Next, click edit. Preferences. In your preferences here, you click install. What are you going to install? Is to install this, the CC3 Blender, the CC3 Blender tool. This is on my desktop, so click the desktop. The zip file is here, double click. Once you finish install, search here CC3. Make sure you tick the, the character CC3 too. Tick it and you can close it. Now in your blender, press your keyboard button and then you should be able to see CC3 is here. Click the CC3 and you should be able to see import character. Click it and it is on my desktop. The FBX file is there, CC3 girl 02. This is a file that I exported as FBX file just now from Icon to desktop. So I double click the CC3 girl02.fbx. And then wait for a while. Now you can see this avatar is already in your blender. This is a CC3 avatar with complete skeleton. Before that, you have to click here to show all the texture can see this is a very beautiful texture that you render in blender and next you can see if you if you play all the body animations are completed look at the facial expression the facial animations are already exported as keyframe animations into Blender, from iClone to Blender. All the animations are already there. And this is really awesome. And next, check the skeleton. Click the skeletons here. Viewport display. In front, you can see all the skeletons are complete. If I click the skeleton, I go to the post mode. And try. Okay. Here you need to fix some, some of the connection so that it all move together. And I use a control Z just because of all of these animations you created uh, from from the icons. All the keyframe you export as as the, you exported everything as the FBX file. 
and now actually the whole animations together you no need to use this skeleton just because of all the animation you created is ready from iClone so now I don't want to see all these skeletons just to see see the whole 3D model in general once you once you drag your keyframe actually all the animations are there you don't want to make any change that there because any of the animation change you can just apply it in iClone and the facial expressions talking animations here you can render in in blender it is up to you to to render in blender it already included all the talking animation the mouth vsam the facial expression and that's all for today about how to export the facial expressions and mouth talking animations together with the fbx and import into blender and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.